So everybody, put your hands together for Tenzin Dalla. All right, let's do big claps and thumbs up. Our very own Tibetan actor, professional actor in Bollywood. Hey! Chote bhai. Kaise aap? Namaskar. What? You got a, you got, the, the 99 songs get chick cheese at the Kerala, huh? La, wow, go, go. So, for, for you and me, we are two Tibetan brothers. I'm going to put some nice romantic jazz music in the background. How about that? Yeah, yeah in the, in the. Honey, welcome to Life and Art with Shen Pen. Thank you, uh, thank you. Thank you so much, man. So, um, so those of you uh, who know uh, who I am talking to, five credits under his belt right now, and he's working towards more. Uh, recently, he's done uh, uh, Guilty. Uh, Uh, very interesting. So, so anyways, I was just saying, uh, Tenzin Dalla is uh, an actor. So, thank you for coming, brother. Wow, Joe. Thank you for inviting me, Joe. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about your. I know I don't want to waste time, so I want to talk about your journey. Mm. When did you get it? I mean, I could understand your question, but the voice is still breaking. So, I mean, if I if I rephrase what you said is like, how did I start in like how did I longi khande thabe a go to break? That's what you asked, right? In the khande slash Kerala, you know the passion. How did you get that interest in uh, acting? It was back in uh, it was back in sixth grade when we used to have a theatre teacher in school. Back in school, his name is Mr. Stephen Maradzi. And then um, we used to go to his classes and he was a very radical person. So he was one of those cool teachers in school, you know, we had a very strict school. And then he was one of those liberal teachers who just, I mean, who lets you be, who treats you. I mean, who just mm. lets you be, let you go free. There's no, you know, you you don't have to behave in a certain way just because you're a teacher. So he was one of those teachers and for, for me at least. And then mm. he introduced me to a vast number of, like, to, to theater to the foundations of theater and different approaches to theater. He introduced me to a lot of good music. He was my introduction to Pink Floyd. And then he introduced, he, <laughs> yeah. So he, he introduced me to like different plays, you know, and then I, from sixth grade till the 12th grade, I was working with him in different productions, both in school and outside school. And I finally worked, started working with him professionally when I started my college. So Amazing. it's been like, I still work with him and I still go back to Delhi to work with him again in his theater plays. I assist him and he's been my mentor ever since. So yeah, I think he is my real inspiration if you ask me. But other than that, uh, if I talk about films particularly, he was my inspiration for theater. If I talk about films particularly, I think it was the film Dreaming Hasa when I saw it for the first time. Ritu Sarin and Tenen Sonam Lars. So when I saw that film for the first time, it came as a very, it came as motivation for me because that was the first Tibetan film that I saw and it kind of made me realize that, you know, oh, because we were only exposed to Hindi films and uh, English films, right? And then at a point when you could see faces like yourselves in the films doing things that the others were doing and at a standard which was, I mean, even better than most of the films that come out these days. So it really kind of inspired me to do, like, to think in terms of, oh well, you know, there's a chance for me also. Like, there's some, there's a tiny room or a tiny leg that I can keep somewhere, and then I can make my own path from there. So wow. I think that is the inspiration. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, firstly, I would personally lo love to give a shout out to your mentor, your teacher. Uh, what what was his name? Karzamin. Stephen. Uh, Stephen Maradzi. Mr. Stephen Marazzi, thank you for uh, honing this beautiful child into this amazing actor. So on behalf of all the Tibetans. And, uh, and for those of you who don't know about Dreaming Lhasa, it's made by Ritu Sar. Really? Yeah. I mean, not, not, and there are a lot of songs. I don't know about the audience, but 
I might. Can I have Wi-Fi or 4G use to get? No, Wi-Fi is not going to get. I think it's okay because yeah, people are... Um, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, so we'll just continue and see what happens, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are saying Shenpen get a better internet. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a gown in Karnataka, yar. Are you Karnataka? I thought you were in Mumbai right now. No, yeah, yeah. Mumbai me hota to I I I probably would have been shit scared, man. I don't know how you're putting up there. I yeah, I no, I don't. I hardly leave the house right now. Was smart man, smart man. Mm. So uh, so the time the pay precious race. So I want you know uh, all the younger Tibetans, uh, non Tibetan, active. All the so bonda ta nende chevo. Who they better? Yeah, but much better. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's the surface. I don't know. So yeah, I'll just hold it. Any uh, so so I I want to talk more about uh, Dala's journey and his craft. So now, kira Mumbai la pe ne lo khaje dos. Oh, it's been like eight months. Dalgi. Yeah. Wow. So you've done you know thangbo kira ngi thangshu do the. Nanzoki, me mangbok danda ha kogi esa mari nai. You did a Tibetan film, karsa a docu drama on on His Holiness the Dalai Lama's Great Escape. Yeah. Right. And then in in that you played a 21 year old Dalai Lama. His Holiness. Yeah. Yeah. His Holiness. So Nanzoki, ngayi thorwa la first question the karles sena ro di movie di kola. For you, Nanzoki robot mi kyo mara Nanzoki we are just normal people, ordinary people. Kirangi, the Kundi Kongi, Konsochogi, the role to do a lot. What kind of pressure did you feel first? Enormous. Firstly, enormous. And the circumstances also through which that I got this role were very unusual. So I was doing my master's in Delhi that time. I'd already done Marpita with the straw. And then I was doing theatre, and then I'd just done my undergraduation, and then doing my master's right now. And then I get a call one day saying that, you know, there's a there's a documentary series being made on his holiness and i was like wow interesting so they'll probably thinking of me to give me a like a character like you know one of the monks or and they're like so we want you to play his holiness i'm like what you want me to play his holiness his holiness is so old right and they're, no 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 they're thinking of me like uh, showing the period when he escaped from tibet i'm like oh that's pretty cool and then would you like to audition i'm like yes why not so i audition and then the next day itself i get a call from the director that you're locked you know we we so it was i did a self test so self test is when you record yourself they give you the script and then you interpret the script and do the scene and then send it to the concerned person so i send it overnight and then next day i get a call from the director saying you're locked we want you to travel day after i'm like what i already want me to travel they're like lahul and spiti so lahul and spiti is like 200 kilometers away from manali so if it takes 13 hours to reach manali you can imagine and the road from there is I don't even I don't even want to talk about it. So yeah. So I I first so my first thing is like I wanted to read the script. So I asked for the script and she sent it to me immediately. My first thing was reading the script, like, right? and then I read the script. I really liked it. And the only problem that I could see was that the language was in Hindi. Oh. So, yeah. So it was Hindi language. So I have no problem with the Hindi language. But again, like approaching a approaching a Tibetan character who speaks Hindi and that to his holiness. So firstly, it's not. realistic right mm. so it had to be approached in a different way naturally and then i my major concern was now how do i approach this right because one the time period is different two you're talking about his holiness right and the way and the way us commoners to better view his holiness is nothing but like a blind faith to towards him It's yeah, like, larger, like, larger than life. Larger than life. I mean, he is. I mean, you you might deny it. Some people might say like whatever, but he is a demigod for us, right? Right. And then, so, I mean, the breakthrough that I could get from the script at that moment in life was to play it realistic in terms of, uh, how would a twenty-one year old. So what what do you call it? How would a twenty-one-year-old boy 
would react when he is asked to leave his home so that's that's how i approached the whole thing and that became my psyche for the whole thing so he received the power when at the age of uh, 16 and then he uh, he ran a country for 5 years and then at the point he was asked to leave through an invasion because of an invasion right. so my whole approach to that was a 21 year old asked to leave his home yeah hmm. so my my uh, my other question with this film and then we'll move on to other other uh, parts of your story is when you first you know krang the script law by the way uh, all the people watching you know thank you for watching first of all secondly the reason why we're speaking tibetan i'm oh, sorry english is because you know i have a lot of viewers who are also non uh, tibetan so <clears throat> out of respect for everyone we're we're speaking in uh, english but we are speaking tibetan also in the complete coming in on sitang and thunder the language police to the yo bro came into any uh kharsa kirangi script the lord wa thambo script the lord ta kirangi tha che kiran pha laus priti la do when you got on your costume when you when mm. you put the costume on and when you went on set and when when they when they did that first call you know mm. camera rolling sound and when they did okay action at that time you had to become his holiness mm. how did you do what was that first take like do you remember i do i do remember i clearly remember the scene as well so but i for me i broke it down to a sentence because his holiness himself refers to him as a simple buddhist monk right he does not like to be called a god i mean mm. that is the basic premise of a man right now people are so power hungry right now like you you feed a power to somebody right now and they go absolutely absurd but a person who has been like at the receiving end of power and when he calls himself a simple buddhist monk like and he treats any sentient being as the same way as he would like any other layman so i think that right. speaks volume of a person's intention mm-hmm. and hello right open mindedness towards mm-hmm. everything in life so i think i broke it down that like i broke down the character as much as i could through that mm-hmm. by because he himself referred to him as a simple buddhist monk and i approached okay. the character as a simple mm-hmm. human being and no hello right overlaying authoritative right, figure right, right. that way so so complications master of chakran the process was to simplify everything yeah. mentally emotionally yeah cool man so um and then moving on to the next one uh, you know it was sonali bose's uh, margarita with the straw uh which was beautiful you know uh, the film was beautiful the story and then from you know you did that and then you did akuni and then obviously you did ugly and those of you who don't know uh tenzin dala is in a very big beautiful movie 99 uh songs you know by ehar rahman so tell us about this whole journey into the hindi film industry and then bollywood like now you have you know four credits hindi uh so the first film margarita with a straw it was hello i think it was an it was a blessing in disguise so i'd come for a theater competition in mumbai that time and then we were meeting one of our senior mr anmol abuja here and then at that moment he was casting for a film margarita with a straw and then you know we were one day chilling outside gateway of india because we didn't have enough money to so uh, our stay at the hostel in iit mumbai was done and then our train was the next day so we had an overnight uh, to pass we were about 45 people there so we were chilling outside gateway of india and then our senior comes to meet us so we have a very Uh, hello there uh, solidarity amongst our theater members right so he he was a senior who was already working in mumbai as a casting director that time and he was casting for this film margarita with the straw and then he comes up to me and he's, he's like hey man do you act i'm like yeah so at that at that time i was doing uh, street theater uh hello so yeah i i hope everybody understands what street theater is um so i was doing street theater and i was like hey bro do you act i'm like yeah i kind of do i've been acting for some time now like, have you ever acted in a film in front of the camera at that time in my life i haven't acted in front of the camera i said no i haven't is that like, cool so would you like to act in a film i'm like yeah why not and he's like okay fine i'll give you a script once you audition for it so I, i did the first round and the director seemed to like the, uh, like it and then i did another round with anmol himself and then third round with the director fourth round with the director and the producer 
fifth with director producer and kalki and that's that's when i was finally locked for that film so that's how my wow. journey began and then i did uh, the great escape of the lai lama that i just spoke about before this and then mm. i happened to so i was again in my masters and i'd already done his holiness's uh, uh hello a right? docu drama and then i get another casting for a uh, casting call from uh, mr mukesh chabra and then this was for an uh, they they had said nothing about this it was supposed to be very i spoke to i spoke to mukesh about you yeah uh, just yesterday wow <laughs> that's cool so, yes any so they were very discreet about this they were like okay uh, there's a film they just said it's a film by mr a r rahman because the name itself is like you know it's enough so like now like cool very really cool right and they were like you're supposed to be a musician i'm like oh damn man. i was way so music and i are like poles apart so i'm like okay cool let me just try this one so i went for the audition the, the person who was there taking the audition she was a very warm person mrs uh, miss uh, mrs indu verma and then she just let me be so usually in an audition they are very strict about okay you have to behave in a certain way but that character itself was very free so i just okay. improvise improvise the character i made like so i improvise the lines as well the scene the entire scene and i didn't know like if i got it or not because there's never there's never right or wrong here it's all subjective it's whether you like it or really? you don't like it that's it that's yeah. the only parameter <clears throat> and then i didn't get another call for another uh, i didn't get a call for another like let's say a month a month and a half and then one fine day i get a call from an uh, from the executive producer They're like uh, so rahman sir wants to meet you i'm like wow okay wow uh, hey so, rahman wants to meet you Uh, how amazing man how amazing so cool and then i met the director vishwesh krishnamurthy he is a creative furor and so he gave me a narration he gave me a narration of the film of the entire film and i pretty and i pretty much liked it and then i met mr rahman and i was like whoa so you know when you imagine an oscar winner who's been in the scene for so long everyone has an you know everyone is a little kind of stuff but yeah star struck to which is chagira was yeah i know see i don't even have the words right now so you enter the room the person is so warm now you can imagine an oscar when i getting up for you to greet you i'm like whoa like this is way too much so yeah unreal. i mean, i have very unreal honestly i have very fond memory of that so i was doing my masters at that moment in life i was do- i was doing double masters at the same time i was studying clinical psychology and peace building and conflict analysis i was in my first year and then i, I had completed almost like 8 months in one and 10 months in the other so but i had to make a call because the only condition for this was and i even i agreed to this so i thought that because this film is made by mr rahman who is the he symbolizes music in india honestly really I, really no no other name comes to my mind you talk about pop music or you talk about good yeah. music that's the only name that comes to my mind as well and if you and if a person like mr rahman is investing in a film that means one thing cannot go wrong that is the musical aspect of the film so right. i put in a word and i put in a word to the director i'm like you know to to play to play this character i think i must undergo training and so the director spoke to mr rahman and mr rahman was of the same opinion is like yeah we were going to ask you the same thing to do so i mean yeah it leaves us a lot of uh, like so yeah it saves us a lot of color work formalities in asking really? that it's great so i underwent a year of training in km conservatory that is a that is a conservatory run by mr rahman in chennai and i was living in chennai for a year and then we started shooting the next year mm-hmm. so yes that's amazing so for those of you who are who don't know uh, this thanda dalagi uh, the conservatory korla lagyo di ta air rahman gi ta air rahman sama gi ha ko gyorwa air rahman gi school do jyor the music school do any because of this character for the dalag the movie bula character the musician to character musician the character tabdi gala ta the authentic te ache to music jango ya the khechun bo thong ne phrang gi logic conservatory la den in chennai logic khangi na dunya the western na inji na the dunya the dangrova the the phege phege gothen kharsa phege gya phege gya langi din do la kang suni phege gya da ani pha chu kheran chu che magya ro che magela 
आणि खरसा सो सो लोचिक खिरांगी तर ड्रम्स झंगरवा सो लोचिक झंगदेव गाला खासिंग खिरांगला फोन लाईन जुगे शेदी गाला लाईन खिरांगी दिंगे ला खिरा चितांगी म्युझिक गाबू यार इने ड्रमर यू नेव्हर बीन अ ड्रमर राईट या या सो प्रिपेअरिंग यु नो द स्किल ऑफ ऑफ द कॅरेक्टर यु नो प्लेईंग ड्रम्स So how did you balance that for one year learning how to play the drums and then also working on the character itself what were um, your what was your process I think my process was as simple as you learn the drums again learning drums is like it's insane because somebody who's not musically inclined I mean I was musically inclined but as a listener more more as a listener than a player and Whoa, it just it's like another dimension because your concept of time changes so the way you perceive time changes and time signature with, time signature yeah uh, be, like beats for minute you like you have no idea and everybody because that conservatory is full of like geniuses mm. and th- so there's this guy there uh, sorry I'm, i know i'm digressing but to get a pooch durba look googi 9 years old he's playing a uh, ओकेटेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडे
so we did that for over like i think i've done that for over 10 years but um my new my understanding of theater also broke where like um when i joined um, college and then i started doing theater in college did you go along azul then we started doing street theater i started doing street theater that was the first time that i did street theater in my life i had only done stage theater before that now street theater how is it different from stage theater is stage theater has only one invisible wall in front of you right whereas street mm-hmm. theater you are being viewed from 360 degree like from all the right, peripheral right. vision right and then so you don't have audience sitting in front of you you have audience all around you so it's very important for you to connect with each audience at everywhere so i think that was really? very important to break your physical hello right? to break your fear of physical restrictions in your body and really? stuff and so i continued so i did three theater for a year and then i continued to do stage theater i act in stage theater and then eventually direct the stage theater um mm. and then at the same time i because i did not go to a film school i went to a film set before i uh, i started reading a lot on my own because i was introduced to a lot of hello the, uh, theoretical knowledge in theater and in film acting in theater acting and in film acting and the first person uh, the first person i was introduced to the first thinker or the first theoretician i was introduced to was uh, stanislavski and i think that is the go to person and then i eventually read meisner sanford meisner sanford meisner and then uh, peter brook and uh, yoshita imuda i think he is one of the best kona gi invisible actor lange i think that's a very good book mm. and then later and then manso ki kona kona continue yeah. and uh, so and i picked on the practicalities of things i mean theory is great but unless you practice those theories in real life or on real set in a real set your theories are only hello a mixture of words alba yes a yes com- combination of theory words. is so only put, theory at that time yes so i i put those theory into practice um, in the different projects that i took and in the different short films also that i did and in the films that i acted in so yeah Right, right. So, Manju, me Manju, than the the theater, the film, the any vocal projection, the dynamics, the education, she did all that. Me Manju, Kiran Zhu, Kaya, Mar, because the Kiran Zhu, the Lega Mar, but you know, you this Deshe Kyuks, Gya Gya Shao. Theater la, theater la, na ta, tam je the drama door wall, theater stage la. So theater sab di gala, Kiran Sang ma chair se over, Kiran ki supu chair se, Kiran ki thorwa chair se, Kiran ki energy chair. Okay, Chimbo, because live audience, Yorba. You will see that you will see that you will see that it is dramatic. The camera is not a big deal. The camera is very sensitive. The camera is lens, the camera is sensor. The camera is very sensitive. So, the camera is not a big deal. The camera is not a big deal. The theater is not a big deal. The camera is not a big deal. But, the theater acting is the uh, information. The theater acting is the training. You know? तब पे खर्चा कैमरा दियो ला पे मस्सी की निंग जुबो चिने डाम इंडा मांगबो चिकु गए तब खंडा बॉलीवुड ला इन्हें मांग चे एक्टर मुने हंग साया एक्टर मांग चे थंग मत थिएटर जानते हैं इन्हें सो आई एम वेरी ग्लैड एंड आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ यू डाला दैट यू डिड दैट एंड यू नो एंड इट्स ग्रेट इनफॉरमेशन � and the jaga khawa sa denge shijal denge yore not isla denge yore phaba khawa denge nai tanda ning je lochu ma denge nai to movi chamne chogu do nai longe chamne chogu do sangne denge la khran de basic you know main lapcha denge khare desa tanda khran kon jala oh i don't know na chongu sha na lapcha khare ge athu sal because i mean it's so vast ba Really, really. Uh, no, but some basic, like you know, is it, do you think it, if they can, do you think they should go to? Uh, if they can, is it wiser? Is it better for them to go to a school, film school, or an acting school, or a theater? Did they jangna yak yakpo yore yomare? I think it's like to each to its own. So if they, it's about where do you want to land up. If you want to, if you want to do filmmaking, if you if you want to be a director, if you like, it differs. If you want to be an actor, now again, if you want to be a theater actor, you want to be a, do you want to be a theater actor or do you want to be a film actor? 
So, but I think read as much as you can on things. And I think, but again, there are there are so many film institutes right now. But I think I can only recall like two good film institutes in India, or probably three: uh, FTI, FTI, SRFTI, and Whistling Woods. I think. Mm, yaga, yaga, I yaga think. Yaga I think. Did you some read? Yaksha read. Yaga la. They they mangu yore. They mangu yore, Raba. But you can't trust mm. everybody. Sometimes Ta- they lose. The, I'm, I'm sorry. Can I check something here? Oh, thanda kharan ki thanda ming sing sum ji kena laro ata ming sum di thanda tangye bula lochonga dinzo ha ko meke dinzo ming sum di roa FTI lana Film and Television Institution uh, in Institute in Pune SRF uh, FTI lana Satyajit Ray uh, Film Television Institute in Calcutta Whistling Wood the Subhash Gai ki school in Mumbai mm. uh, film school so kena ki really? Google kena to Google chine nye 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 da if you don't find it that's how you can find and go find out more. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. And I think like, and sometimes what happens in film schools is you lose your natural instinct. Also, I'm I'm purely talking about acting right now. Uh, so I mean, there there are chances that you lose your natural instinct in acting also while going to these schools. But again, I don't want to discourage anyone. And again, in acting, acting thone so not national school. There's nothing better than national school of drama. But that NSG, is pure, yes. But that is purely <laughs> acting and theater acting. They're not so much into film acting. I think they're going to revise their course sooner or later. But again, as of now, yeah. they, uh, it's just pure acting. That's I think that's the best for acting. Right, right, right. And that actor, I'm just talking about it. Because that's why actor Mang Che, that Nawaz, Nawazuddin Che, Manoj Bajpai, who are the Sangma NSD logyo re. Nasruddin Changi cha logyo re. NSD the FTI. That's the FTI. Yeah. And Nasiruddin Shah la Mumbai la Quran the Quran ki wife Quran singi theater company yore. So tak je chena research chena mangbu je ha khodu gore. Ani I think the ing yonge din jo ani so so lobjo thagi dala ki lagi do gore. Theb loya mangbu chena theb la diukala mixe ki literature literature yaku lo ani chizo kolla dan because act actor la the you know your Hindi la la na you know. एक किरदार एक्टर कलाकार इस बेसिकली आप एक भावनाओं का भावनाओं का कारीगर हो सो आप आपका अपने भावनाओं के साथ संबंध बहुत अच्छा होना चाहिए राइट यू नो यू हैव टू बी वेरी इमोशनली यू नो यू हैव टू बी एबल टू ड्रॉ ऑल दिस इमोशंस फ्रॉम यू एंड इट ओनली कम्स फ्रॉम लाइफ इट कम्स फ्रॉम एजुकेशन एंड इट कम्स फ्रॉम एक्सपीरियंस सो सो दैट्स आई थिंक दो आर वेरी गुड टिप्स सो तेज डाला छंगमा <laughs> And I don't know where to start from. So I wanted to make a film for a very long time, but I didn't know what like what subject to choose. And then I made a play back in college. And then I like politics. Now I had studied international relations. I've studied uh, political science. So I like the politics of as to how um, the superstructure, how if there are like state governments, how it affects a common individual at the below, like a change in the policies at the top level, how it affects. The most minutest of the person, mm-hmm. Gonda, uh, so yeah, that's how that's that's the kind of stories that I like. And when I get down to writing, that's the story that I write as well. So I made this film called The Chirp. It's about a father and a son's relationship, living in exile, and they set out um, to set a bird free in the wild. So mm. yeah, you can find it on YouTube. It's called the YouTube. Yeah, you're wrong. Chirp, C H I R P, Chirp by Tenzin Dalla. Uh, it's a beautiful film. Some... I saw it. You know, short film. Um, and uh, so, the Nanzu ki lai mixe ki nge ki tha Dalla lai nge kasi lai mba nge ki thanda life and art with champagne. So, me uchik matos chamba ke kuch me na di so so kharsa khabda da popular da chik view mangbo da din theta ay na di di kora me ra nge ki thanda lochunga dinzu ing yonge dinzu lata. Education and sh- and one of the most Buddhist thing we can do, modern Buddhists. One of the most spiritual thing we can do is share our knowledge. And so so the knowledge, the so so the experience they share, chitu na di ape masigi, chhe chire samne. And ganzu chizo bolata thanda digi juthe gi. And film gi thanda pe sabar ba. 
담당 감독이 음. 즉, we don't have an industry 가란 주소서 스파 아주 상만 찍찍 서포트 제야 로퍼 제야 빼 개춘부 통계도 아니 so 따 계란기 담당 스트러글 고라 티스 라로 쳤다 파겔라 몸바이 라따 계란 무비 라 펜사레 무비 인터뷰 여러 무비 라페 미 상막이 라빠 다그레 칼 오, congratulations 이렇게 상막 따 펜즈 달라 그냥 액터 but then the dalagi and struggle kana audition to dikala kana so so hande static chigi so 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 prepare kande chigi uh anxiety the the fear the insecurity chagirwa intimidate chagre tham tham into thangma overcome kande chigi oh i can uh, i can quote incidents from real life i think that uh, that will give a hello a little so i was when i was in chennai and then i was learning drums and then i used to spend 8 to 10 hours a day learning drums uh and then watch films at the same time and then read uh, read the script every day so mm. yeah and that did i did that continuously for a year not even taking like sundays off because that was the first thing because uh, hello so when a product comes out right when something comes out this might be your last film if you if you don't perform so it's a very performance enduring and everybody and a visual audio medium is there to judge you constantly mm. and when it doesn't work it just doesn't work so that's the kind of anxiety that you i was personally dealing it at that time when i was like 21 years old it was really hard for me to cope up with like in the sense how how do you want people to perceive you and how do they perceive you it really matters a lot to me then mm. but and then after a point of time you know you just let it go and i think that's the most liberating feeling also and talking about audition and i think uh, like audition so whenever you go for audition it's like you have to be used to getting rejected so and whenever you reject it it just i mean you have to say to yourself this is not the end of it you just get up the next day and then continue your pattern like continue Wait. doing whatever continue doing whatever you word way right Wait. and but again like so one good thing is like there's not one single door there are too many doors here and then you can approach each door and then yes i mean some doors open also some doors don't even open and some some people are there to welcome you at different points of time in life and mm, talking about other struggles the other struggles are you go months without work without any kind of work so how do you keep yourself motivated at that at that time at that point of time in life what what i do personally personally is i have a particular routine that i follow every day i wake up in the morning i wake up in the morning i go for a bath i clean my space and then i go down to work out and then i come back eat um, have my regular cup of coffee and stuff and then i get into reading i try to read again i try to read at least one play a day Uh, one theatrical piece a day, or like at least one chapter a day of something, it keeps your uh, kind of creative juices flowing. And yeah, so how you must the thing also the person be share share to you about uh, this mm. is about again. Um, and then what do you do at other times, right? And then the theater. Theater is like the gymnasium for actors. Uh, so I go back to my theater mentor, and then I continue working with him. and he brings out a certain uh, so we have continuous discussion about theater as well about uh, approaches to acting and then yeah it's about keeping it so i also teach here in a municipal school i teach english in a municipal school which pays me nothing but it's just about um, hello sharing ideas with kids because i think nobody is as creative as a small child or a kid mm-hmm. so and they're full of ideas they're always full of ideas and i like their perception of how they view things in a certain way yeah uh uh it said you mentioned clinical psychology earlier and maraina yeah. uh, i'm very much into clinical psychology and you know one of my personal guru mentor is jordan peterson and uh, you know i you sh- if you don't know him you should check him out Mm-hmm. and what you just mentioned about the kids it is so true because um konzola main reason the tangegi marai i i've been observing right because you learn a lot from kids when you work with kids mm-hmm. that's yeah. because they don't have inhibitions pugula exactly. inhibitions you marwa nganzo gemala inhibitions being also fear thokpa you know ani nganzo ki tik 
insecurity ngage changma chilling and so the pugula din so medical any kind of creative manga chitu gyo re so free they are absolutely so free and yeah, unfortunately nganzo mi gemba gi khari chigre pu chunga din so la ya chalo chitu gala khari 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 konzo gi stop patu chagri ngan konzo ngan tirak ya okba khan di ta do rwa so i think i think these are very important for that Okay, so um, we have, uh, you know, about for 15 minutes, 14, 13 minutes. So, um, we both are Tibetans and we're both in the film industry and we're both working in the film. I'm more behind the camera, more behind the scenes, you know, I'm not direct to you. But one, one common thing that we both had in such a big industry, Mumbai, Bollywood, Tinde Chemburwa. ดีแอคเตอร์เพิ่มมาสิฮังไซแอคเตอร์วินัยปาทักยังตรงนี้จะเลิกกับเชียร์กูก็กล้าเพราะว่าเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเ
national award winner and he's somebody who's worked with Sham Benegal on many movies so he's wow. like a very you know very real artist uh, Asim Sena Asim Sena very senior FDI uh, Madhu Phebat Chik Phebat Chik Chik Yerva even he's won a national award for editing Tenzin Kunchok Really? I, I, I've ne- I don't know him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I recently met him. Like, uh, I think I met him last... Uh, hello, I think I met him last year. And then he's a very... Me, uh, yeah, I do. So, yeah, he's a very simple man. And then Amazing. He won, it, he won the National Award, I think, in 2018 or 19. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think... 18, so, this is sorry. the beauty... This is the beauty of this kind of conversation. So, I'm going to share my own story. 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 Bad, uh, baby step in and so the industry change to go to your ring and so get the parts of robot a film yam to sue the tens of dollar in my own by film so you got a negative care of what she to a in a negative that the tens of control at the console some man and the parts of half on a part so you know and this is how we got to push each other always you know? yeah she's all yeah this over so so last I I have last uh, seven minutes so I'm gonna open this for the comments the guns to catch a picture picture yeah going to choose on and uh, so miman so kiran so tenze dalala kurangi lega korla tiwa inde yona tiwa tiroche if you have any questions so tenze dalala can read it also and uh, you know any question regarding his craft you know his acting uh, yeah tiwa inde yona and in the meantime um my, uh, you know, my next guest, Tandang Anzo, first guest was Tenzin Dala Naranzo uh, Gipeba Gipet for a POA, you know, a, a pride for Tibetans, uh, Tenzin Dala Chetanda. And the next uh, nine o'clock, you know, I have a very good friend of mine. He's a Canadian, uh, but he's a Hollywood actor, Alex Panovic. He's coming, he's going to come on um, nine o'clock, Vijela. So please stick around, tell everybody, and I'm going to ask him similar questions about process. So that this is all, you know, I'm trying to pull it as a, as a knowledge, you know, for because me, Jangye Inde, you know. Okay. Tiwa, what are you, Dala, an actor, director? Tenzi Dala, he's an actor and director. I'm a human being. Yes. Absolutely. First, it's probably in Sando Bano, like this, right? Where uh, where are you uh, from, uh, sir? Kashi. Where where am I from? I'm from Kalota, not not Delhi, Delhi. So yeah. Hmm. I want to ask him what technique he follows. Maizner or Stanislavski? I follow life. Tagala. The Prayash is an actor from Darjeeling. Sorry, Gonda Gonda. Uh, Prayash, the one who asked you about Meisner yeah. and Stan, Stan Lasky, he's an actor yeah. from Darjeeling. Uh, mm-hmm. So, so I, you know, uh, D- Dala mentioned earlier that he he has read and he reads uh, all of those, right? You've read, yeah. you read, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. yeah. But I think, I, like Thangushanar, uh, the way I approach it, it's like you get aware of every every technique that's there, and then you. Your experiences, there's nothing wider than your own experiences. But you should be Absolutely. aware of ev- everything that exists and then use whatever is right for you. And then the way that there's no other you. I mean, I, I don't think there's an, a, a, any bigger statement than that. Like there's no other person in you, other person than you. Really? So you just do what you do and be mm-hmm. as good as you can. Mm. I'm sorry. I, it sounds like a very tough answer, don't you? Know? It sounds. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, I know. It's, I'm being honest. No, yeah, but it, it, in you know, in a in a wide from a wide perspective, it is absolutely true. You know, you learn the most from your life. All mm. the directors, everybody puts their life in their movies, yeah. metaphorically or directly, or you know, yeah. Yeah, actors. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um The last question, Yegi Tibor, what can I Yeah, Dala. The Thanda movie shooting has just started. Mumbai le yore, then Kerala ge yore. The next, uh, what kind of projects are you uh, really looking forward to doing? I know you'll do many movies, but what is that? What kind of roles are you looking for? Oh, uh, I think again, if you ever ask me, and then it would be to play the role of His Holiness, 
Rava, I mean, for the Tibetan actor, Rava, okay, you can generalize me. You can put me in a box as a Tibetan actor. And if you ask me, what role will you like? What's your dream role? I would blindly say His Holiness's, and I've already got the opportunity to play that probably too young in my life or too early on in my career. But again, that one chance to play that character. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry to put to call His Holiness as a character. But again, if one more opportunity to play His Holiness again would be again that dream role. Well, you never, you never know. You never know. In the future, I'm sure there will be a very big film made on His Holiness. You know, and and then you know there will be you. You might be able to play an older, uh, you know, Kosachogi uh, as a character. You know. Yeah. So who knows? <laughs> Do you have any other project that you're working on? Yes. Yes. Uh, no. I mean, I just have like uh, two releases, and then. Because everything is shut right now. I mean, our industry is under under the lockdown, and it won't. Be, I think it it's going to be hit the most. So I think for the next, I mean, a few months, I I really don't think like there's nothing coming my way. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Do you have anything you want to say? Final words, or you want to ask me one question? Anything you would like? Oh, uh, so how like my all my question always? How do you? Right, I find writing very tough, and especially writing fiction very hard. What's your approach to writing? Um, I write again from my own experience. You know, I'm not a very good fiction writer. More. Whatever I've metaphorically, you know, this fictionalized shit. But the core, yeah. Yoruba, uh, core, I write from my own life experiences and what I've seen, what I've heard, what I've read. Mm. But on the Broken Wings, the it's inspired by true incidents. So. Mm. Almost. I think it's mine. I think it's mine. All the almost seventy-five percent of the dialogues in in uh, Broken Wings uh, no. I've written were everything that I've heard since I was a little kid, and you know, as a teenager during Gorkha Land agitation in Darjeeling, you know, mm. in the late eighties, early nineties, Dindu mm. So, so. But I love writing. Uh, you know, it might sound weird, but I I write like I vomit, so I can write a lot. No, uh, it doesn't mean I write good, but I love writing. No, I I've seen Lhasa Blues as well. Um, yeah, yeah. I really like it in terms of <laughs> my, it's 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 a very cool Tibetan film, and all the characters were distinct, and the choices of the words that all four of them have the vocabulary because every person has a certain vocabulary to them. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. All the characters were so distinct, and I really like. I won't reveal it here. I really like that plot twist. Uh, you know, uh, you are obviously you know, what I, but I really like that choice also you made, and I think it's a very yeah. cool film. So what? I made that in. I made that in Dala. I made that in two days because Gonzo, Gonzo, uh, nobody was a professional actor. Any the the movie the lot that me chick mara ni mara so so tap. But DOP, I was the DOP myself. Wow, wow! I just had somebody operate it, and wow. I would fix. I would do the composition, everything. Yeah, But anyways, cool. you know, uh, our time is unfortunately up. I am so glad, my dear brother. I am so happy to know that you exist. I'm so Same. happy that you're kicking ass. And and uh, there is nothing but my my love and my support. <laughs> and one is Jesu Yura Yuta Kerala, Muthu Ne Chirochi, and then uh, hopefully someday someday we will work together. We'll make the uh, Tibetan films, and I'm hopefully. glad that you know I exist. Okay, uh, so Gonda, Gonda, so I would like to thank everyone, like you know, who's been like commenting and like you know, and then they've been yes. messaging me also. I'm really happy for like the kind of love that I receive from all of you, and we have ten seconds. Kind of, I'm sorry, it makes me very, it makes me very proud that you're proud of me. Okay, shout out to uh, our Tibetan Prime Minister. <laughs> I, oh, I'm still here. Okay. Uh, Uh, so he escaped with us. I had a really yeah yeah.